Before we start this video, be sure to download the latest Photoshop file of our mockup. At this point, we've drawn all of our graphical shapes and colored them based on our custom color swatches. We've added all our text and created paragraph and character styles to make formatting easier. We've also added all our icon fonts and organized our layers panel, so our file is easy to navigate. And the last really big thing we need to do is add the images to our mockup. This is going to be one of the biggest finishing touches that we do because these are the giant aesthetic elements that really stand out. I'm going to be bringing almost all of this in as linked smart objects, and I'm doing that because it allows me to bring them in at their native size, but then shrink them down to a size in here, and then send the originals to the developer so that he can put them in place. Because like this area up here in our header, we're going to need this to cover the entire width of the browser, which means it needs to be quote unquote responsive. Now that in of itself is a really big challenge and developers are going to need a pretty big image in order to cover all of the different screen sizes. So we don't want to just lock them in here to 1370 pixels wide. And so what I want to do is place a big image here. And to do that, I'm going to file place linked. Now my linked image is right here and it's called hardwood.jpg. So I'm going to click on it and click place. Now it comes in really big. This is the actual size of the file. I'm going to shrink it down just a little bit. So I'm allowed to transform this right now. I'm going to hold shift and click and drag on this bottom arrow just until it hits that guide right there at 1370. It doesn't even have to be perfect. And I'm going to hit enter. Now it doesn't exactly fit within the confines of my area, but that's okay because I can add a layer mask to it. So let's go ahead and first of all, move this up. I'm just going to nudge this up a little tiny bit into that area where I've created some new guides. And I'm going to grab my selection, my marquee tool, which is going to help me make a selection. I'm going to select this area right here. And then what I'm going to do is with that selection made, I'm going to create a layer mask based on that. So I've got my hardwood layer selected. I'm going to click on the create new layer mask and there we go. Now the second thing we need to do is we need to add our logo to this header. And there's a couple ways to do that. The first and easiest way is to just copy and paste it from Adobe Illustrator. Typically when you get logos from, from people, they're going to be in either two file formats, an AI file, which is a native Adobe Illustrator file. It can hold vector graphics and you can simply just with your selection tool, highlight this and copy and paste it. It's so redundantly easy. I'm not even going to do it. The other is an EPS file, which stands for electronic postscript file. Basically it's the exact same thing as an Adobe Illustrator file. The only difference being is that AI is a native Illustrator file, whereas EPS, does hold vector graphics, but it can be it can be open in several different programs such as Illustrator or CorelDRAW. Jump back to Photoshop here. Another way that you might get a logo is you might already be given some sort of Photoshop mockup and asked to edit it. I've got this mockup right here with my logo and I can locate that layer right here in my layers panel. And what I want to do is bring this layer out to my other file. And it's actually quite simple. If you just right click on this layer and go to duplicate layer, this dialog box pops up and what it's basically asking you is where do you want to send this new layer? If you click on the little drop down menu, I want to send it to our 0802 importing our logo and imagery.psd and the name of the, the layer that it's going to send over to that other file is called logo. So if I click OK, you don't see anything happen, but if I click back to my original document, there's my logo and the layer is right there. So I'm just going to, with my move tool, center it. Now it's hard to see, but in upcoming videos, we're going to explore some adjustment layers and some layer styles in order to bring that logo up off of that hardwood texture.